Hi, I'm PJ Matavish. Welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So today we're doing, as you saw there, 2011 uh, section B, question B3. So it's a comic section of questions. So as always, we read through it. So the 3D graphic on the right shows some makeup items. The balloon diagram shows the enlarged view of the top of a lipstick, which is in the form of a right cylinder that has been shaped as shown. So figure B3 below shows the plan elevation uh, of the top of the lipstick. So part A, B and C. So A, draw the given elevation plan and project an end view in the direction of our way. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this. The elevation and plan should be straightforward enough and then I'll meet you at the end view. Okay, so that's the plan elevation done, so just draw it in strong and then you can move on to the end view. Okay, so that's the plan elevation done. Now you're doing an end view and it says direction arrow A. So your arrow A is in this direction. So that means you're projecting over to the left hand side. So easy thing to do is just project over your main points first and then we'll do the detail now when you're doing this envy you're going to see <clears throat> that flat surface here, this cut surface. They call it surface S, so let's mark that in. So this here is surface S. And you're gonna see that when you look in the end view. So in order to see that surface, it's gonna be elliptical in shape, we need to divide up the circle here in plan uh, 3060 to find the range of points. Our straight edge here, our straight line, is close enough to my 36 points here to be able to use that. And I'm going to start my labeling off at that straight edge here where S stops, where this edge stops and goes back over here to the left hand side. So I'm going to start labeling here instead, so instead of over to the left, so zero there and so on. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to project those points up to the elevation, find them in elevation, and then all you do is project from the elevation to the end view and from the plan to the end view. Where they meet will give you your points. So find them in the elevation first. So now that you have them in the elevation and the plan, project them over to the end view. Okay, and use your label then to figure out where your points are. only matter with join them so we start off at zero so zero is coming up this line here from the plan and it's right at the top there so this point has to be point zero okay so continue on then so point one then is right on the edge here point one is going to be here and so on and continue all the way around So there are all your points found now and it's only a matter of drawing everything in strong now and as you can see you're looking in A so points 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 that section of the elliptical cut surface, uh, surface S that's all going to be strong and then you see here points 8, 9, 10, 11 back to 0 that section here that's behind it so that's going to be in hidden detail alright so you can draw the in view in strong now Okay, so that is your 
plan, elevation, and end view done. So part A was draw the given elevation and plan and project an end view direction arrow A. So that's done, part A is done. Now for part B, draw the true shape of the elliptical cut surface S. So the elliptical cut surface S is this surface here. So that's it there in plan. And this is your edge view of it here in the elevation. So if that's an edge view of it, we can project perpendicular to that edge view up here to the right hand side and put in our true shape up here to the right hand side. So I'm going to set up my adjustable set square because it make it a bit faster. Oh sorry, it's already set up because it's 55 degrees. So now I can project, we, it wants the true shape of the elliptical cut surface, that's from 0 0.0 to 8. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'm going to project all of them up here. All the way up here to the right hand side. So it's not local for our directrix and so on yet. So just doing a true shape of that, we have true lengths here because it's an edge view. So they're true lengths, distance from zero to one is a true length. And then, then this is a right cylinder, it's based on a right cylinder. So we have true distances from our center here up to points one, two, and three. So we're gonna have to go with a center line and marking point four first and so on, but I'm gonna go with the auxiliary view method so we're projecting an auxiliary plan so get your distances from the plan and mark in the true shape of surface s so we'll put in an x y line here i'm going to get a datum at point one so i'm cutting out a bit of space there so as we're labeling here now point one will be on the line that's point one here and then get your distances down to the rest of your points. Okay, so just get the distances from the datum line there down to each of your points of the compass and mark them out up here for your auxiliary view. So just to recap on that, we projected out perpendicular to the surface there. So all these projection lines are perpendicular to the surface S. Put a new X1, Y1, and that means we're doing an auxiliary plan. So you get all your distances from the X, Y line down to plan. Put in a datum line, just to cut out the space, save us a bit of room. And then the distance from the datum down to our point was the same distance from our X, Y line out to the point. These are all our points for the cut surface S. Join them in freehand lightly and then go over it strong. And that's a true shape of your cut surfaces. Okay, so that was part B, the true shape of the cut surfaces. So now part C is draw the elevation of the focal sphere as in elevation of the focal sphere as indicated in the 3D graphic on the right below. And on your drawing, establish the position of the focal point the directrix of the elliptical curved surface S. Okay, so we have to put in the focal sphere here in the elevation, and we also then have to find the focal points in our um, drawing here, as well as the directrix, or focal point, I should say. So first thing you do to find the focal sphere is you divide the angle between the cut surface of the cone and the edge of the cone here. So this angle in here. So bisect that angle, and it should cut. Okay, so bisect the angle in here, and it will go through your center line to give you the center point. By half in that angle there, it is giving you a line going through the center, center line going through the center of that focal sphere. Also, it will be going through the center of your cone itself. So where the two meet here, that's your center point of the focal sphere. Put the pin of the compass there and lead at the edge to find the radius or if you want to be more accurate draw a line from the center so that you know where exactly it's going to be touching the edge the point of contact and you can draw in your focus here 
So I'm just going to stick that in with a different color so it stands out from the rest of the drawing. That's our focal sphere. Now the next thing he said was to find the focal point <clears throat> and the directrix up here. So to find the focal point you need to project the center of the focal sphere perpendicular to the cut surface out here to your true shape. So again 55 degrees. So project Project that center point perpendicular to the edge of the cut surface. Now to find the focal point on that line you need to find your center line and I'll be going through your vertex here which is 0.4. So if we put in a center line there, so that'll give us, this is our focal point here on our true shape, on our ellipse. Lastly then it was the directrix was needed and to find the directrix you need to extend your cut surface here because it's going to be beyond it so extend your cut surface down and bring the center point straight out parallel to the x y line there this is your directrix here so now if we project that out again perpendicular to the edge of the of the cut surface that will give us our directrix So there's your focal point on the ellipse and your directrix for the ellipse. Okay, and that has the question done. So uh, that question now was a request as you see here in this image. For, on YouTube, a comment from one of the other videos. So if there's any other videos you'd like to see on YouTube, just let me know in a comment and I'll try and get them up before the end of the year. So I hope that helped and we'll see you in the next one.